Hello, Aja. Hey, Jason. In our previous episodes, we've talked a lot about using LLMs to answer questions based on a knowledge base or even having LLMs summarize a lot of text. All of that's great, but also, can't we aspire to do more with LLMs than just that? LLMs can do so much more than that. Today, we're going to talk about function calling, a way you can have your LLM interact with your code. All right, so let's break it down. What is function calling? Function calling is a technique where you can make the LLM aware of specific methods or functions in your code and their signatures. The LLM can then respond to prompts with a request to call a specific function with specific parameters instead of just replying with text or maybe an image. Okay, so function calling allows me to have the LLM call a create new appointment function in response to a prompt like add trivia to my calendar for next Tuesday evening. That's exactly it. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I've also heard people talk about LLMs and tools. But is function calling the same thing as calling a tool? Technically, no, but in practice, yeah, pretty much. Tools are the generic term for things an LLM can do to respond to prompts better. Calling functions is by far the most popular tool at the moment. And for the most part, people use the term tool and function calling interchangeably. But as an example, I could have something like a database tool where I provide the LLM a schema and a connection, and then it would generate and execute queries against the database on my behalf, right? Exactly. Some folks would consider that another variation of function calling, but in my opinion, it's going to really depend on exactly how you implement that database tool. So that's function calling in theory. But let's walk through an example to see how this works in practicality and what the information flow actually looks like. Good idea. So the first thing we need to do is write a function that we want our LLM to use. For our example, we'll call this the create new appointment function, and we'll assume it uses an API to create new appointments on our calendar. Our create new appointment function takes a date, time, a title, and location as parameters. And now we have to let the LLM know that it can actually use that tool. And models and frameworks handle this differently, so you'll need to refer to the documentation for your particular model or framework for how to do this stuff. In this example, I'm going to assume that I can specify a list of available tools in the request body. Then we'll send that request to the LLM, and then the LLM will respond to that prompt with instructions about which function I should call and which parameters I should pass in when I call the function. As we said earlier, and we'll say again, different frameworks and models handle this differently. Your code may need to parse the response from the LLM to determine if it's a function call at all, and then call the appropriate function. Or your framework could just take care of all of that for you. I guess either way, the function will get called. Yep, and the results of that function call are returned to the LLM with the context from the previous interaction. Again, some frameworks take care of this for you. Finally, the LLM returns a response to the original prompt. All right, so we know that we can use functions here to improve my poor calendar management by calling calendar appointments and making new ones. But what else can we do? So function calling is great for situations where you need real-time or near real-time data to respond to a prompt. Uh, think about things like weather, stock prices, traffic, or even something like order status. You can't use RAG for that type of info because RAG requires that pre-processing step where you ingest all of the relevant information up front. It is impractical to be constantly rerunning that pre-processing step if your data is changing frequently. It can also be useful, I would imagine, in situations where I have to access information using an API, but I don't have that data in a way that I could actually format it or use it in RAG for pre-processing. And so maybe as an example, my city has an API to get my trash day, but we all know that it gets delayed a lot. Here, I would need to have that information in real time and not as a data dump, because that way it wouldn't be up to date as much as I would like it to be. And I can use function calling in this case to access that information as needed yeah. and get real-time changes if they occur. And as we saw earlier, function calling is a way to enable an LLM to take actions on your behalf, like scheduling a meeting, uh, but also things like creating a new bug or setting up a reminder to buy milk on the way home. This all seems super straightforward, but by now I know the tech is rarely as easy as it seems. So what are some of the challenges of function calling? Well... One of the biggest challenges, as we've said before, is that different frameworks and models handle function calling a little bit differently. 
Sometimes you can just upload a specification of an API and the rest will be taken care of you, including things like authenticating and then calling that actual function. Other times you have to write the code yourself to do things like authenticating and calling the API. And the code then you also has to understand how to parse the response for the LLM and to give it back to the LLM and know that you called the function successfully. And of course, with all these frameworks, there are many different ways. Some are here and some are here with how to do it. Yeah. And if the framework doesn't handle most of that control flow for you, you'll need to handle things like HTTP errors as well. And if your model returns a specific error when it can't use the tool, like cannot use specified tool, you'll also need to handle that in your code so that your users see an appropriate error message. What is nice, though, is that that all sounds like things like building a microservice or calling an API, yeah. which are things I know how to do as an application developer. Yeah, it's exactly that. But since you don't have to handle those things in all of the AI architectures, it's worth calling out that this technique may require you to write a little more code. All right. What else should I know if I'm going to integrate function calling into my application? So one thing I want folks to keep in mind is that you can pass more than one tool or function signature to an LLM and then let the LLM select which one to use to respond to your prompt. You can imagine a reservations application where you have a tool for new reservation, a tool for listing existing reservations, and yet another tool for canceling reservations. Basic CRUD. LLM can decide which one is relevant to that prompt. Another important thing to know is that how you describe those tools matters a lot. That description is the information the LLM is using to determine if the tool is relevant to the prompt. So you need to write a good description. You need to think about the types of prompts that will use that tool and include words that will show up in those prompts in your description. Verbosity good, brevity bad. All right, and finally, a piece of advice. Debugging function calling isn't as straightforward as debugging simpler applications or even things like microservices, especially when you have a framework that's taking care of invoking the function and returning the response to LLM. It can be hard to pinpoint what exactly is wrong and going wrong in the flow. Using an observability tool or working a UI that supports observability for things like tracing can save you a lot of time and frustration. It really can. So to see what that actually looks like, here's an example of a prompt that uses function calling and is running in Firebase GenKit. You can see the initial call to the LLM, the response from the LLM, function call, the response from the function call, how that is fed back to the model, and then the final response. All right. So if you want to learn more about using function calling, we've put links to a few different code labs and tutorials in the description box below. These use different tools and different frameworks so you can compare and contrast the different approaches. And learning about function calling was when I really got it about the power of LLMs and AI. So I hope you really get a chance to try it out and build some of your own applications that use function calling and tools. Until next time, happy prompting and happy function calling. Happy function calling. Happy function calling.